Hi guys, and thank you for watching a quick video. I'm going to teach you how to use uh, a bookmarklet to curate stuff into your blog. There's two ways to do this. WordPress has one, Blogger has one, I believe Typepad has one as well. I'm going to show you the WordPress one really quick. And with this, I invite you to become a curator for uh, the 30-day blogging challenge. There's going to be um, a dedicated website coming up soon, and anybody that curates blog posts for it will be able to get a author link and a feature profile so that you can also receive some new traffic to your blog as well as a good link for Google to um, find and index your website. So, here we go. In your blog, well first let's cover really quick what a um, what is a bookmarklet. If you notice up here on my on my um, on my toolbar, I have a lot of folders and some links. So the folders have other bookmarks inside, and these links are what are known as bookmarklets. A bookmarklet, and I'll type it in right here, is a special bookmark that not only takes you to a website, but it actually does something. Um, for example, if you're in Pinterest, the little button that you can put into your browser is a bookmarklet. If you use Buffer, one of the first uh, ways that you could use Buffer was to use a bookmarklet. So it's simply a little bookmark that you drag and drop into your bookmarks folder in your browser and it starts working to do something for you. You'll notice I have this thing called OG Link Press right here. This is my bookmarklet to curate posts into the 30-day blogging challenge in um, oglink.it. So let's take a quick look at how that works. We go to the Facebook blogging group and we take, let's say, uh, day number one blog post. Let's see, where is day number one? Let's look, day number one. Oops, this happens all the time with Facebook and Chrome. Let's go back to the day number one. Day number one. There it is. So day number one, and we have a lot of blog posts for that day. Let's just pick. Um, let's pick this one. So, this is how you curate a blog post. You read the blog post. Oh, this is very interesting. Now, I've already curated this one, so I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to show you the steps to do it. Let's say that you read this and it's very interesting, and this is the one that you want to curate. You will select a piece of text like this. Um, highlight whatever piece of text you want. So, for example, this, and you click on up to here. Notice how it's highlighted. Now you go to your bookmarklet, in this case is this button over here, and you click on it. Notice that a window popped up that automatically has the same text that you highlighted. Notice it says Buckyballs are 5mm magnetic balls sold in the sets. Buckyballs are 5 So notice that it's the same thing. So immediately you have selected the text and the bookmark will put it into a new blog post and it grabbed the title from the blog. So that part is done for you. The next thing that you have to do is, of course, give it a category. So you pick the category that you want. In this case, we're going to do this category. One more thing that I'd like to do is to put the entire thing in a block quote text uh, format. Very easy to do. You simply highlight the whole text and you click the, the block quote button right here. Now, notice that I'm using the HTML view instead of the visual tab view on WordPress. You can use either one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to select this and click the block quote. Now, notice that there's block quotes around that text, and I will put in whatever curation commentary I want to add. Uh, this is a great, great post about Bucky Balls. Now, of course, you want to give it a little more thought, a little bit more um, depth into your curation. Otherwise, it just becomes repeating a blog post. So once you've done that, you have two options. You can save it as a draft or publish it. For my own purposes and for the 30-day blogging challenge, I actually save it as a draft because there's a few more things I do as part of the process. So I'll click on Save as a Draft. Notice it goes away. I can close that window. Now let's take a look at how that works on the back end. So if you go back to your website that you're curating in, in this case is the oglink.it, notice that we have a new blog post at the very top, draft. It's marked as draft with a category I selected. 
At that point, you go and click on it. You can add pictures if you want, you can add links, you can add more commentary, categorize it differently if you want, and then you do your other, whatever it is that you want to do to a post, and then you hit publish. At that point, your, publish, uh, your post is published into your blog. In this case, I'll show you 30 day challenge. For example, here's all the, the posts I've curated for day number one. If you click on one of them, you will see what the results are. Here is the, the curation commentary I added. And here's a quote I grabbed from that website. And automatically, the bookmarklet, like I mentioned before, adds a link to the original website so people can read the title of the blog post, my commentary about it, a short excerpt or a quote from the article, and then click on the link that will take them to the website, and then they can continue to read the blog post. That is easy to do. It's called a, um, in WordPress, it's called Press This, and I'll show you really quick how to set that up. If you go back to your website, in WordPress, for example, go to the Settings section, and go to Writing. Once you're there, if you look right here, there's a button called Press This. It's very easy to use this. You literally grab this and drag it up. I'm still I'm clicking, I'm holding on to it, so click and drag. And I'm going to put it up here. Notice how in Chrome it moved like this. Once I put it in here, it says Press This, and there's the link and the code. Now, I like to rename those because I use bookmark lips a lot, for example. Notice all of this ones I have here, so I can't have one that says press this because it doesn't tell me what website it's for. So I right click on it, click on edit, and then I rename this part to whatever is pertinent for that time. So, website And I save it, and there you have it. That is my button, just like the one I have over here, and I can start curating. So, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. And if you would like to participate on the curation process for the 30-day blogging challenge, also let me know. I will add you as an author so that you can uh, curate and get your name out there and also promote other people's blog posts as you read them. Very, very useful for both parties and um, something interesting to do. If you can't or don't want to write long blog posts, maybe this is something that you can do to get your feet wet into the world of blogging. So.